Marion and we're here today at the Manchester Museum to look at one of Manchester's best kept secrets. So we're going to take you up to the herbarium. So Leander, tell us a little bit about the history of the herbarium in the Manchester Museum. Um, well really it's mostly um, a Victorian collection. Um, it came to us at, um, in the first half of the 20th century, sort of in 1904 and 1917 around that time, and it has three principal donors, um, three guys, one guy called Charles Bailey, one guy called uh, James Cosimo Melville, and another one called Leo Grindon. Um, there's that many specimens here at Manchester that we can't display them, and botany collections aren't very often displayed in museums, are they? Um, no, very rarely. I mean, I go around museums that have got botany collections, and I, I try and spot the botany specimen that is on display, and then they're never on display. Here we are. Um, this is the European flowering plants, which I'm a regular volunteer at the museum, and this is what we've been documenting. They were never really intended to go on display, so unlike, say, um, a painting in an art gallery or something like that, which is painted deliberately to show people, um, these were never pressed to show people um, uh, <clears throat> in, a sort of, uh, in a big public way. What they were mostly interested in is the distribution of plants. What they wanted to know, as, pla as the climate changed from the south to the north of the country, what plants changed and things like that. And really, uh, anyone can use uh, the collections. You don't have to be a scientist or, or a student, a anyone who's just interested. So a lot of these collections were collected by local collectors. And one thing that you can do at home, um, without even coming down to the collections, is help out with um, documentation. Because, as you can see, we've got a very vast collection here. And Leanna's going to tell you a bit about how you can help. Yeah, um, the problem that we have really is that, as I said before, there's about a million specimens in the collection. Um, <clears throat> and what we'd really like to do is get all the information uh, that's available on the label here. We'd like to put that on a database so that if you were interested in a collector, um, you could uh, type into the collection of the database and find out where they were, or you could uh, type in a locality and find out what plants are from that locality and things like that. Um, but the problem is it's an enormous amount of work uh, documenting, um, putting that data into the computer. Um, one of our volunteers called Tom Humphrey, um, he came up with this idea of putting digital images of the specimens up on a website um, with, with a database so that anyone anywhere in the world can log on and document these specimens. Um, so in this way, the number of people or the number of volunteers documenting the specimens is, is virtually infinite. And basically, um, many hands make light work. <laughs> So it's a kind of collection that's not really out there, you know, people can't see it, but it's still a great resource if you want to come and have a look. Um, Leander's happy to show people around the herbarium and indulge everyone's interest in botany. So overall, um, a very worthwhile project if you want to get involved locally and for a global cause really. So I just want to say thank you to Leander, the curator of botany. Thank you. Uh, you're very welcome and uh, make sure you go online and document some specimens. And you can see a tutorial online on how to document specimens for yourself at Herbaria at Home. <laughs>